Today we're going to have a look at five different ways you can use your torpedo captor in your rig. So for all these clips I'm playing a 355 replica into a Marshall Vintage Modern. I'm using the captor and I've either got it mic'd up with an SM57 on a greenback cab or I'm using an impulse response of the same greenback cab. So number one is using the captor as a way to get from your amp into your DAW and to load up an impulse response in the box. I'm using an impulse I shot of my greenback cab with an SM57 and it sounds like this. Number two is using the built-in cab sims, and this is great because you can just take the captor and use it in your rig live, send it straight to front of house, and you're good to go. This is what that sounds like. <laughs> as an attenuator if you want to play at home at lower volumes but still crank the power section of your amp. Let's have a listen to the difference between the attenuated and the unattenuated signal. <laughs> So number four is using the captor together with your amp in four cable mode with a modeler like the Axe 8 or the Helix or the Axe FX2. And the way I've set this up is I'm going into my Axe 8 over here, sending to the amp head and I've got a drive pedal and a phaser set up uh, before the amp in that setting. Then I'm going from the amp to the captor, back into my Axe 8, again the same IR of the 57 on a greenback cab and I've got some delay after the amp and the cab. Let's have a listen to that. Number five is setting up a wet dry wet rig with any head and a stereo power amp. In this case, I've got a Matrix GT800 FX and I'm using the captor to load my amp down so that I can run into the stereo effects on the Axe 8, which then go into the Matrix and then into two cabinets. All the meanwhile, I'm just taking the through on the captor to go to my normal cabinet. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like mic'd up. This is really cool. <laughs> 